Hey everybody, uh, thank you for joining me today, and uh, today I'm going to be giving uh, my reaction to the uh, One Piece Film Red uh, trailer that um, was released uh, a, little, a couple hours ago today, so I will be giving sort of my reaction, and I'll sort of be giving sort of like uh, a breakdown on things I'm seeing forward in the trailer and what I noticed, uh, along with I'll be giving sort of my general thoughts and ideas on what I believe this movie could be about, uh, and how I will, and how I believe the overall story is going to reflect or reflect the story in itself. So, let's begin. Um... So the first thing I'll put the trailer like that, we basically get an announcement from the narrator stating that this is an original story for a general producer, Ichiro Oda. So basically, Ichiro Oda, the author of One Piece, uh, is basically the one who is creating the story for this film. He is the one who is basically creating this film, and he's a general producer on it. So basically, what this basically means and tells us that anything in this film, not necessarily everything, but anything in this film that Oda decides is canon is officially canon. So it doesn't matter what it is. So if Uta, if if Uta appears in this film, oh, and, Sh and Oda says that yes, Uta is canon, then Uta is canon. And if these, if this entire story or itself, like the entire film itself, is officially canon, yes, this is a canon movie. This happens, then then it happens. Whatever Oda decides, it is canon. So um, let's get into it, shall we? All right. So we get basically a touching moment with uh with the young Uta from uh, the past and like that. Uh, and along with Shanks, who is basically uh, right be uh, right behind her, and like that. Now Uta seems to be looking over um, sort of a balcony area, and she seems to be in between two uh, uh, square pillars, and like that, holding up, um, you know, or uh, no, no, Ani or like a roof structure above her. But she seems to be looking overlooking a balcony. -y. Me and um, you know, Shanks is basically right behind her. Now, this is very interesting because this dialogue that we're getting from Shanks is basically saying, "Though we, are, though we're apart, you'll always be my daughter." So apparently, from this alone, is a huge mind blown. Like, what? What? It's like, oh man, we we all need to do. Uh, oh man, I feel like we all need to, need to do the eye popping thing, and like everyone, like every other One Piece character is. And it's like, like, I, like I seriously think we all need to start doing those eye popping things, like, and so just like, ugh. Like, oh man, that, that's just crazy. But yeah, we find out that Uta is Shanks' daughter. Now, is she like the official daughter, like an actual biological daughter? We don't actually know, all right? We'll, we'll have to wait to see, but the way it's presenting to us is basically stating that uh, Uta is Shanks' daughter. But we'll need to wait to see the film to actually know if that's true or not. Uh, we cut to a moment with Shanks, and uh, this, this we don't actually know where this takes place exactly, but there seems to be like a fire going on. on. Like right behind Shanks, there seems to be something burning, like there's a fire going on. And then... Uh, we cut to a scene, and we see uh, Uta, who is basically being h held back by someone, one, and she seems to be crying deeply, as um, most likely her father left or something's going on. But, um, we, like, we don't actually know, no, but she seems to be deeply cry crying. crying. Um, so what's going on and why, we don't know. All right, so um, we cut to a moment, and, and we get uh, we basically cut to, like, maybe around present time, and we see Uta uh, uh, up close, and there seems to be, like, a sword blade. Like, there's, like, a blade, like, right underneath her, or about right here. You're like, there's a blade right underneath her, or, 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 and she seems to be maybe talking to someone, and here we get a bit of a text in, uh, text to basically give us some announcement on who she is. Uh, basically, uh, her name is Uta, the world's greatest diva. And then we here we have a uh, shouting of Uta, uh, which basically is Luffy's voice. And here we have a moment with Luffy running, and he seems to be wearing uh, this his uh, his uh, battle gear or outfit that was released for the um, the the posters and stuff like that. These seems to be like the battle gears that uh, the Strats will be wearing. Uh, here we have Luffy running uh, towards someone while shouting Uta's name, and he basically has like he seems to be doing like the elephant gun in the gear third, or like he's got his uh, arm all blown up up, and he's basically getting ready for an attack from what it looks like. Um, interesting enough, um, it looks like it's funny enough, but it looks like Luffy's running on water. Or yeah, it, like re it really does look like Luffy's running on water for a moment. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily know if he actually is officially running on water. Or, or I mean, he maybe, maybe he is, or maybe he's not. I don't know. But at the moment, it really looks like Luffy is running on water. All right. Um. So after that, we cut to another scene, and uh, this is basically the same scene from a little while ago where I mentioned where um uh where we saw Uta's face up close and she had like the sword blade underneath her like this. Um. This is basically like seems to be like the same scene, but we're getting this from a different angle now. So basically, we have Uta like facing uh, uh this way or this. Well, from my perspective, if uh she's facing uh this way. Way. So she's basically facing this way and um. And, up, and uh, she seems to have like uh, the sword blade, blade, blade like um, right uh, side of her like this, so basically like this. And then after that, we cut to a moment where um, uh, Uta seems to be uh, uh, sort of dancing, and she seems to be wearing different clothes this time. She seems to be wearing like a black t-shirt with like uh, sort of like blue pants and uh, black uh, shoes with like um, white, um, uh, white um, crap. I can't think of what those part of the shoes are. 
and basically she seems to be like dancing in the, like in like like stormy weather like weather like like there's like light shining from the clouds and stuff like that and there's clouds seems to be like dark dark so maybe we can infer that as uh, as a storm going on um here we get some uh context from uh, narrating from the narrators giving some context on the story uh her voice and here, here we have a moment of uh, Uta. Um, we just have a moment, let's see, uh, a moment here of Uta standing in. She might seem to be having a conversation with someone. We don't know that for sure. But she seems to be surrounded by like, crystallized, um, like crystallized uh, sh coloring, uh, green colored diamonds and stuff like that, like uh, crystallized uh, forms. We don't like. We don't actually know what these things are exactly. Uh, we'll have to wait to see. Um, here we have this uh, new character, Gordon, and I believe his name is Gordon. He's, you can see him, like, to be honest, he seems to be some sort of, like, like, Frankenstein, like a Frankenstein's monster. Like, that's generally how you can refer to him. Like, seriously, like, he is, like, literally, like, to be honest, he's, like, literally a Frankenstein's monster. Or that's generally how, how you can picture him. Um, then we also cut to, um, uh, we saw a kind of, it will get all mad and fierce and all of a sudden. And here we have uh, Beppo and Law, Law, um, who are basically, um, sort of walking out the highway. But here we also, um, have um beppo all dressed up as if he's he, so apparently uh, beppo is a huge uta fan so a really big big uta fan um here we also get um some context nylon uh, that basically says um if he knows his daughter is doing this yes um we also saw a moment with um i'm sorry about the noise you're hearing uh, we saw a moment with uh, Kobe Hominpo who were talking on transponder snails to someone. Uh, we don't know who they're talking to, but basically everyone in the uh, crowd had their arms up up in the air. So basically, like, um, we, we don't know that for sure. Like, maybe some sort of, like, a cheer or, like, uh, some sort of, like, um, you know, basically, like, a cheer kind of thing. Um, um, now, continuing on further, or, um, we get a moment with Uta basically, um, like, screaming in, in out loud and giving, like, sort of, like, like, basically screaming out the top of her lungs. So we don't actually know what's going on, but it feels like, like and basically uh it's responding like if he knows his daughter is doing that this will change the whole world and that's interesting when you think about the context in that um here we have luffy getting uh giving uh luffy getting insanely angry early by replying shanks won't keep quiet quiet right. and here we have uh uta crying deeply deeply um we don't know but apparently like from this uh, context that's what we're seeing luffy is uh furious at uta for what she's doing or what she's done and we we don't know for sure, but in that moment, we see um, uh, music notes flying up uh, uh, in front of Uta all insanely. And then we get the title of the film, One Piece, Film Red. Film Red. And then here we have a moment with uh, uh, Shanks uh, having a conversation with Uta, or basically um, telling her something. Listen, Uta, there is no peace or equality in this world. And we basically get like storm clouds and um, uh, light shining through the clouds. And then uh, after that, out, out we, uh, we just get a moment with uh, Uta uh, smiling. And then after that, that's it. That's uh, we get the release date for August sixth. Um, so yeah, so that is the trailer. All right. So my initial uh, ideas is on this movie. I believe this movie is going to be uh, going to be absolutely fantastic. This looks like it's going to be beautiful. Right. That that was that was a really good uh, good trailer and stuff like that. To start off with, but and like the the biggest shocker thing and was funny out that Uta is Shanks' daughter. Right. So that sort of gives us clarification on why Uta knows uh, Shanks, and it can also give a little bit of clarification on how she actually knows Luffy. Now. We don't. We still need a little bit more answers on that exactly, but it can sort of point us in the right direction. So it like it sort of like nudges us us in the right way exactly to give us a little more clarification on that. At, but at the same time, it's not enough to give us like complete answer. So it's like okay, 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 okay. So we got a little bit of steps. So we got some step in the right direction, but we still need more. And we'll have to wait to see the movie to know for sure, or unless some little bit more information comes out, like a new trailer. Or but um yeah so yeah so I I I love this trailer. This trailer was absolutely beautiful. It was amazing. Um, yeah, so, um, my initial, what, what do I believe this film could be? This is gonna be crazy, but in the context of this trailer, it says, um, her voice will change the world. What if that's, like, to be taken literally? Like, what if, like, think for instance, like, when Luffy's, uh, poster of his Val gear came out, it's like that, uh, or, no, when, uh, Uta's, uh, poster, official poster came out, out, it's like that, it basically translates into Luffy, stop being a pirate. So, what if Uta, like, what if her power, like, a Delphi ability, allows her to basically manipulate the world through song, to be able to change, uh, the world as she, uh, as she sees or how it should be. So, imagine if she can, like, create, like, a multiverse or an ultraverse, like, she could literally change the reality itself. Elf, like, imagine, like, how insane that would be if that could be possible. Well, um, and, you know, with some, uh, you know, with, with, like, you know, with DCs and, uh, Marvel doing, like, the multiverse and, uh, alternate universes now with their film, with their series, uh, you know, Oda took, like, seemed to be taking inspiration from other things and things, um, even Stampede was sort of, like, an um, inspiration to, like, a One Piece world of the Avengers-style kind of scenario, oh, so, 
maybe uh, maybe Oda wants to do a uh, like a multiverse and ultraverse versus the One Piece itself. So maybe maybe we are going to get like a One Piece film of like what what would it be like like if uh, Luffy never was a pirate right? or like how that could affect everyone. So maybe Luffy basically has to find a way to stop Uta from doing what she's doing in order to reunite with his uh, Straw Hat crew. And maybe um, they'll all reunite their joint voices. And maybe we find out that there's more to uh, what's going. Maybe there's more to them. What's going on? Um, we don't know. Um, now. Do I does this necessarily believe that anything of this like like what Uta like say for instance if what Uta is going to do in this does it affect it permanently? No, oh, I don't think it's going to be affected permanently and it's like that. I don't believe it is. If but Oda can always do that, all right? Like beyond honest, like there is a possibility that things could be permanent in this situation, but I don't think it will be permanent. It will be more like um sort of like a what if. if maybe it's kind of like think of it as sort of like a what if. I think I think overall this film has been in development for like over maybe like a year or two at the least. I'm sorry about that noise you're hearing. I do apologize, but um, yeah. So there's uh, so many ideas. And, like uh, other other ways you can look at that is this. Like take for instance, um, um, take for instance some of the uh, translations that some of the uh, strides are saying. Uh, most importantly is Nami. Uh, on Nami's official poster, or it basically states, um, um, you will never, uh, you will never be able to see or treasure your family and friends ever again, and you're okay with that. Now that's interesting to point out because it's almost like Nami's having that conversation with someone, and she's basically like sort of like warning them or telling them, if you do this, is you will never be able to go back to the way things were before. Um, now that's that's interesting thing because like like we don't know who she's talking to. I'm going to assume that she's talking to Uta. I'm going to assume that Nami's having that conversation with Uta. I don't know for I don't know for, specifically for sure, but I'm going to assume that she's having a conversation with Uta. I could be wrong, but I'm going to suggest Uta on that. But look, um, overall, all that's overall that's my uh my opinions and thoughts on the film. And I had I had this film this film trailer was amazing. It was absolutely beautiful. Well, well, um, so yeah, so that's all I really have. Um, listen, uh, thank you so much for um, thank you so much for uh, joining me me for this uh this video and stuff like that. It's a little bit smaller than my other videos and stuff like that. But I just wanted to give my reaction to the trailer and stuff like that, and uh, sort of like go into it like it's sort of like a deep thought of it and sort of give my idea on what i believe this sort of film could be um so look forward to it and uh, i hope we'll get uh, more surprises in store for this film so yeah so that's it that is all so hey thank you so much for joining me today in today's video i really appreciate it um feel free to uh smash that like button if you like the video as well uh go ahead and leave a comment down below on some of your thoughts and th uh, theories and opinions on this film i love to hear other people's ideas come on t tell me what you guys think um, and feel free to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Also, one other thing, I started my own uh, Twitter page and stuff like that, so you can follow me on Twitter, or there will be a link down below. Um, I'll basically be giving sort of like thoughts and opinions and posts, posts on there on certain One Piece things. I'll be giving, uh, you know, early um, sort of hints and ideas. Is So um, feel free to follow me if you choose. So, and that is it. That's, that's all. Thank you. You all have a great day. Bye now.